Massive Attack, Teardrop. Uh, it's a really cool song. Um, it's basically just this one uh, arpeggio riff that's just ostinato. It just repeats through the whole thing. Um, there are some breaks for it. And then uh, aside from that, it's uh, mainly just a compositional thing, um, getting all these chords in just the right spot. And the chords are really simple. Um, I'll get to those here in a second. We'll just dive right into this initial uh, arpeggio riff. And uh, it's basically we're just picking through a A suspended four. All right, so um, it kind of has two parts to it, I would say. Um, okay, we're just going to start by hitting an open A string. Okay, then we do kind of like we're making a D chord here, but just uh, leave the E string open. So we're just on the second of the A and three on the D. Just kind of keep that, that shape right there and you're good. Okay, so we're just going to hit the open A string. Then we hit the 3 on the B to open E. Alright, then we go to that 2nd on the G. And basically we're going to go from that 2nd G, 3B, 2nd G, 3B. And finish the first half of it with that open E. Okay, so slowly now, it'd be like... So that's the first half of it, and essentially the second half of it, it all uh, is pretty much the same thing, except for the very last note. Instead of hitting that open E at the very end, we're just going to hit the second on the G one more time. Okay, so it would sound... going anywhere we're just keeping this same exact uh, shape here the two on the G three on the B all right so uh, it's just a matter of uh, getting that picking down and then you just kind of get it up tempo now That's basically it. You just repeat that all the way through. And uh, like I said, though, there's a, a few parts where it just it rests. Okay, so you just want to rest at the end of every verse because it's just basically a drum break. Okay, so we're resting there. And then there's a spot in the middle of the third verse, which I'll point out when we get there, where uh, it also cuts out. So I'll see you there with this riff. And now let's jump into the, uh, the chords. All right, and for the chords here, um, you know, there isn't any straight up guitar chord strumming in the song. Um, it's all uh, piano, but the uh, the piano chords themselves are these really low voiced chords, and uh, I think it best sounds on the guitar here if you uh, drop tune to D. Okay, so we get pretty low now, and uh, basically we're just gonna hit uh, like the power chords, the fifths. All right, so we're just basically gonna focus on the two top strings here should be a D and an A now. Okay, so we just want these really low sounding chords. If you wanted to, you know, if you're trying to put like a new sound to it or uh, more acoustic guitar style or something like that, you could just do the full voiced chords if you like, um, your preference. But I think it sounds best this way. All right, so uh, in each of these verses now, there's three verses, and for the most part, there's some familiar uh, segments to each one, but uh, each verse kind of mixes them up and uh, plays them in different ways, so kind of interesting compositionally what they do here. Alright, so uh, to start, um, this will be for the intro and the first uh, part of the first verse. Okay, so it's just going to do this progression here, where we're at an A, and we're drop tuned now, so we're just going to play two sevens on the D and the A string here. All right. And for the most part, each chord that we hit throughout this whole thing, it's going to be two measures worth. Okay, so we start with the A there. 
go down two frets to the G. Okay, and now we're in drop D, so this sounds cool when we just do the open. Alright, and then we come back to the sevens. Alright, and we would just repeat that four times throughout the intro and the first half of the verse. So four times of that, and then we get to this progression here, where we switch to an F now, which will just be at the threes on the top string, D, and the A now. Up two for the G. Up two for the A. Okay, just once through that, and then there will be a, a break, a uh, drum break now. So that arpeggio riff is resting. Everyone's resting except for the drums. All right, now we get into the second verse. And you can see this is just kind of like a long string of just uh, uh, chords now. So just kind of bouncing around between all these chords we've done. All right, it's going to kind of start the same, same way that we usually do, but we're just going to go through it once. Okay, the sevens. And the A. To the G at the fives. Open for the D. Sevens for the A. And now we're just going to jump straight back to that uh, F, G, A. Threes. Five. Sevens for the A. All right, and now we kind of add something new here where we do the, uh, the F at the threes. Then we go to an open for the D. Fives for the G, and then finish on the sevens for the A. Okay, so see how it kind of jumbles them up a little bit, adds, adds a new uh, progression through the second verse, and now we'll get into the third verse, which will kind of do the same thing. Okay, so the first half of the third verse will be pretty familiar. It's essentially just the uh, first verse minus the intro progressions. Okay, so we'll do our... A, G, D, A, so, so sevens, five, open, uh, seven. Okay, we just go through that twice. All right, and then we'll do our uh, F, G, A, five, seven. Okay, and an interesting thing at this point, when we do that FGA, uh, the arpeggio drops out right there. Okay, so it's the only other part aside from a drum break where that arpeggio stops. And um, we get this new kind of synth uh, element that comes in. And essentially, if you want to play what that synth is doing, it's just playing the fifth of each of these chords that we're making, which, uh, coincidentally enough, is just on the A string, the note, you know, so... We're hitting the F G A. It would. It's playing the, the three on the A, five, seven on the A. So, that's just what that synth is doing. If you want to try to follow that. All right. Now continuing on with the third verse. Uh, just an, another long stream of, uh, you know, mixed around chords here. Uh, so it's gonna start with the uh, or continue on with an F. So with the threes. G, and now it's going to go right back to that F on the threes. Okay, and now we're going to come up to the sevens for that A, and once we hit this, that arpeggio starts back up again. Okay, and after this, we do our F, G, A twice. Three, five, seven. More. All right, now we uh, finish that by doing an F and a G, so three and five. Okay, and then we get into another break. All right, and now we can do uh, the outro. 
which is uh, pretty simple. Um, it just kind of leaves out a little bit. So uh, we're just going to do F to G, so 3 to 5. Okay, and we're just going to let, after we hit this G, we'll give it its good, you know, couple measures, but then we're just going to rest for about four measures. All right. And we just take that whole thing, the F, the G, and the rests, and we just do that three times. pretty basic there and uh, at the very end we just finish the whole thing by just hitting a single F like the threes here thanks for checking out the video everybody like it share it leave a comment it's always good to hear from you um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button I put out a video pretty frequent so you don't want to miss out on that uh, check out the links in the description box below I have really cool links for uh, tablature books, all the gear I use, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.